What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Just checking out the eBay room here because we did clean it up a little bit more from the last video. So here we are, finally everything is 100% put together. It looks all clean uh, and everything is ready to go. So I have the TV stand over here that is finally cleaned out. Uh, we have all of our shipping supplies here. Bubble wrap down here and a bunch of weekly uh, store flyers. That's what I use for my packing materials, but everything nice here, this drawer over here, we took everything else uh, that was junky out of it. Uh, we have like knives, shipping labels, extra tape, Sharpies, different things like that, stamps and such. So we finally put that together. So the room is 100% done and ready to go. We have, uh, these are my totes for reselling as of right now. Bottom one has all the video games in it that you guys have seen recently and this one has some uh, of the figures you guys seen in the last video. And this, only the top two boxes here is what's left of the comics that I have to resell. I finally went through them like I said I was going to in the last video. Have them all listed and I have a lot of people messaging now. So I do have to pull out, uh, these are my sealed comics for the Rise of the Midnight Suns. So I have to pull out issue, Ghost Rider issue 28, and Ghost Rider issue 31. Set them over here for now. I also have to get uh, Web of Spider-Man issue number 90. This is the gold foil one, because I have somebody that's interested in that. Nobody interested in this one yet, but uh, for $5 each for all the foil and holographic ones, that's a pretty good deal. So we do have some of those selling. I just put these ones off to the side for now. We also did sell a couple sets. So the sets I had listed for $10 each. So we have the Transformers uh, Universe. This is a four part set. I already have this in my personal collection. So this is one that I had to sell. So four part sets, that's $10. We have G.I. Joe and the Transformers four part sets. So that one there is another $10. And then we have G.I. Joe Order of Battle, which is another $10. So that is awesome, $30 there. Yesterday we also did sell all of the What If comics that I had. I had about 18 What If comics. There was a couple that were uh, doubles in the lot as well. Those ones there I've been trying to sell for a year. I'm finally glad that I have them sold now. And it was a repeat buyer anyway, so that's why I was happy to have them go to him at least. Because originally I was trying to get $8 each for them. Nobody was interested. Then I dropped my price down to $90 for the lots, which is $5 each. Nobody was interested. So I decided since I'm selling off the remainder of what I have and I already made a ton of profits, that's I decided to list them for $60. And that equaled out to be $3.30 or something like that uh, per comic. So he did buy them. So that was a $60 sale as well. For video games, the only thing that sold on eBay of the individual games that I had was Twisted Metal Black. That one, the buyer paid $35 plus $20 to ship. After fees and shipping, it came out to be about $25 profit, so I'm already in profit for the video games. And I have a ton left. I think I just listed those locally as well. Uh, a little bit of a discount compared to what I'm selling them for on eBay because eBay have the fees and everything else as well. And selling them locally, I can give a little bit more of a discount, so there's those sales as well. As for the 3DS here, I still have not decided if I want to keep it for myself or if I do want to sell it. I still have nobody messaging on my ads. I might post it one more time and if nobody is interested, then I'm likely going to sell it. The only thing left for today that I have to do is go through my hockey cards here because there is some cards that uh, I'm not sure what the value is of them. So I'm gonna look up, see if it's worth listing them on eBay since that's the last of the hockey cards that I have left. But overall, the eBay room, it does look amazing. We have the TV stand over here to pack packages now if uh, anything needs to be shipped out, which I already packed the uh, PS2 game, Twisted Metal, and that game is way easier to pack this way here. We have the tape underneath. We have my scale, we have everything that I need to pack it there. We have the materials over here, my bubble mailer. So it's just a matter of grabbing a bubble mailer, bringing it over, uh, grabbing the shipping label out, putting it on, writing the addresses on, way easy. So 
I love the format that we have now. And yes, you probably see the two boxes over here of the comics on the bottom. Those ones I decided to keep for my personal collection. I still have to go through them, uh, re-bag and board them all and make them look nice. That's what the box on top of the tote here is. It's the remainder of my bags and boards. And hopefully in a couple weeks I'll get that. But the eBay room as a whole looks amazing compared to what it used to look like. As far as other things that I'm looking to buy to flip for profits, I am looking at a couple N64s right now. I've seen on a Facebook group, uh, eBay thrifters, uh, which is anybody that sells on eBay, not just in Canada, but a lot of people uh, that in, are in the US say that's an N64 only sells for 80 to maybe $120. In my area, they sell for $200 or more. You can't find them for less than 200. So I'm definitely looking into getting some N64s because in my area, they sell for $200 steady. And that's what I've always sold mine for. So if I can pick them up for what they're selling them for in the United States and then sell them locally here for the $200 mark, even with the shipping difference and the currency difference, I think I'd be making a little bit of profit off of that. There is a couple locally that I'm looking at uh, to purchase. There's also a 3DS that I'm bidding on on eBay as well uh, that hopefully I'll be able to get and a couple other lots that I'm looking at as well, not only on eBay, but also locally that I'm looking to hopefully pick up to be able to flip for profit, but definitely looking for some new stuff. And hopefully, I can, hopefully I can find some new stuff very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this flipping for profit video, a look into the update on the eBay room and the comics that I have to sell and a whole bunch of my other stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.